zippity doo -dah. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, as you can see behind me, I'm hanging out here at the Floridian Resort here in Walt Disney World. Now, what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna talk about a method that's gonna be really, really awesome for you, especially if you're brand new to business and especially if you haven't done this 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 in a, in, a, in a while. Even if you are in business, if you haven't done this for a while, this is also gonna be really excellent for you. So this is how you're gonna generate at least the next 500 to $1,000 very, very quickly. And what that method is, is by networking. Networking with other people and other businesses that you know. Now, when I talk with, with already existing businesses and I'm sharing, them, sharing with them some of the strategies and some of the tools that we have available for them, one of the first things that they say, hey, I got this buddy who's a, a plumber. He's not in the same industry that I'm in, but will, it, will this stuff work for him? Absolutely it will. Hey, I got this buddy. I'm, I sell insurance, but he's in real estate. Will this work for him? Absolutely it will. And so when I, when I talk with real businesses, uh, you know, the, the, the standard typical type of businesses that, that you and I visit all the time, those type of businesses really get this. They understand networking, they understand uh, how, how the business world works, right? However, if you are in a, in a home-based business or anything like that, um, they don't use a very professional approach. That's, that's part of the reasons. Um, but what the, one of the things that they say is just go talk to your friends and family, bring them in here. Um, and, and a lot of times people have a very bad taste in their mouth about that. They just don't want to make their friends feel pressured. And I want to talk to you about that for, for just a moment. This isn't required, so I don't want you to, I, I don't want you to feel that this is going to be required. Um, and this method is going to work for any type of business that you have out there. But one of the time, one of the things that happen when we talk about networking with people that we know, businesses, friends, family, and people that we know, sometimes people have this, you know, not so easy feeling. Again, the things that is going to be uncomfortable, that is the thing that's going to generate us the, 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 the best results. That's the thing that is going to be the most effective. If it's uncomfortable, chances are it's going to be effective. So this is a method that you want to go out and, uh, and again, it's going to generate you, I would say, at least your, at least your very first $500 if you do it right. Um, it can even generate even more for you if you want to take it to the next level. But here's a, if you're in a home-based business or have ever been exposed to home-based businesses, one of the things they'll say is make a list of every single person that you know and go talk to your friends and family. Well, yeah, you can do that, and I'm actually going to suggest you to do that to a certain degree. Um, but I don't want you to talk to them right now. I want you to reestablish that relationship, and then you can go ahead and talk to them. Because here's why. Here's what happens. You know, you got this friend, and, and you, they, they sh the research shows that the average person knows about 200, pre 200 people on average. But how many people do you hang out with on a routine basis? Hmm maybe 10 right <laughs> so you're not hanging out with all of those people so you go back to the remaining 190 people and say hey Bob and uh, and then you start talking to them about what you want to talk to them about and because it's from a financial interest from a financial perspective now you just look like a selfish idiot so we don't want you to we don't want you to do that either and I know even in my own life, I've had people that they know I'm in business. Hey, Chris, you know, I haven't talked to you in like a year and a half, but uh, I just started this business and I wanted to talk to you about it. You just end up looking like an idiot at that point. Now, on the other hand, you do have some close friends and people that you consistently talk to uh, on a routine basis, you know, all the time. These might be even people that you hang out at work with. Um, if, if, you, if you're still having a job, uh, this might be some of your employees, this is, might be some co-workers, co-business uh, partners, um, you know, just different types of people that you, you might have access to, okay? And so what, what sometimes people say is I don't want to talk to them because I don't want them to feel pressured and, you know, there's this, this negative feeling that comes about uh, over us because of that. Now here's the thing. and. One of the things that they're so worried about 
is that they're not going to like them and that they're, they're going to talk negatively about them and they're going to make fun of them and all this this horrible stuff that, that usually doesn't happen, right? We, we make it worse in our heads than what really happens. But here's the thing. If they, most of us don't have friends, we have a, a few close friends, but everybody else that we know, they're associates, okay? And so a true friend, if these people are a true friend, they're not going to talk bad about you and they're not going to make fun of you. They're going to support you in anything that you do. Um, so if, if that is a concern that you have, the reason is because those people are not your true and genuine friends. A true and genuine friend will stick by you, stick close to you, no matter what happens in your life. These are the people who are going to be there for you through thick and thin. That is what a true friend is. So um, just keep that in mind. You still might be a little apprehensive. Like I said, it's not required, but I, I am going to suggest you to, to use this method because the, the reasons that people buy, okay, the research shows that, that, that uh, it takes on average when, when you go out and, and, and establishing new contacts and new leads, okay, so we're talking about new sales. Um, that that the average sale is done on the on after the eighth contact and only one percent of sales are done on the first contact and so the reason that people don't buy from you is because they don't trust you yet so you have to re so you have to establish that trust with them okay but on the other hand who are the people that already know you like you and trust you well these are your friends family and people that you already know colleagues that you do business with all the time right so the way to generate sales very, very quickly is to network with those people who already know you. And now, and what we're also not doing is we're not presenting what we do to pressure them to buy from us. What we're doing is we're networking with them. We have the scripts that we're gonna go through in just a moment so we can share with them what we do and then that way they can refer any contacts that they have to us and then, that, then they'll go ahead and buy from us. So, um, that, that's just kind of the approach that we use. Now, uh, again, the average person knows 190 fr or 200 friends, and so we have 190 people left over besides those first 10, right? So what we want to do is we want to do what is called as friendship farming. Uh, network with them, start talking with them, send them a postcard, send them a mail, just call them up, send them a text and a message. Re-establish this contact with them. And then later, when the time is appropriate, now you can introduce what it is that you're doing with them. So I'm gonna show you a couple of approaches. First of all, I'm just gonna show you a generic approach that will work for anything, and then some of the products that we do have available for as, as part of the system, so you'll be able to use those as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you to my computer and show you how we're gonna do that, okay? Okay, so if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll find all the networking scripts that we're gonna go through. And uh, normally we do these in Google Docs a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of the times we do that. Um, this time we decided to do this in a PDF version. And so we have our, our, our contact list script, and then we have our general networking script, which will work for any business that you have. You just, again, need to fill in the blanks for your own products and services. Um, and then here's some some scripts that we've already created for you and these are specifically for some of the products and services that we have for you so uh, especially for those of you who are taking part in the uh, in the in module number two which is the funder proposal side of the business and this is what is going to generate you 80 percent of your money and only about 20 percent of your working activity so here's uh, approach script number one and then our funder proposal script number two um, this this first one here is generally for those of you if you're talking to an employee on uh, somebody who has a job and then over here this is for specifically for business owners now chances are if you're watching this video you are a business owner um but you might also be doing this uh you know you might try be trying in the transition of turning yourself into a business owner as well um you know maybe you even if you let's say you're good trying to do a trades business. You know, you work to trade, uh, you're a painter uh, doing it as a trade, and maybe you're trying to start a painting business as an example. So you're in that transition time. So I'll show you how to go through each one of these scripts. Now let's come over here to our first script. Um, 
And what we want to do, don't prejudge anybody at this time, like I was just saying. Um, what you want to do is you want to take everybody that you know. Just make a list of everybody right now. Don't don't talk about who, who they are. Um, but what you're going to do is put your their name. So right here, you can see you put their name, then put in their phone number. And then obviously this is going to be blank until you contacted them in one way or another okay so you contacted them and then once you did contact them what was the result and then when was the date that you contacted them so I've done this from time to time even in my business I meet new people I've I've moved a number of times I you know I've moved from Michigan to Los Angeles from Los Angeles to to Disney World Florida um, you know and so I'm doing, I, I, I've created new groups of friends, but generally what I will do is every, how oh, is that, maybe every few years or so that when I, uh, that I'll, even if I'm staying in the same area, I will go back through my group of friends because they will have forgotten about me, okay? And the last time I did this was, um, and it's actually been a while, uh, I did this in 2000. 2011 okay and I hadn't done used this approach for a while and when I used it I talked to I talked to 11 of my friends and eight of them joined and that generated me like what was that uh, $800 pretty close to $800 in sales or not $800 in sales but uh, $800 in in commissions for me Okay, so this is something that we would encourage you to do. Now, there's several approaches that you could make with this, and I'll explain that. But I'm, I'm, I really want to explain the casual approach. Um, so you know, make a list of every single person that you have. Ideally, you want to make a list of your first top ten. So, uh, who are the top ten friends that you have? Who are your best buds? Who are the people that you hang out the most with? And so you want to put those those there first. And then you might put some of those other people there. And if you're not, because here's what happens a lot of times, you know, uh, this real, this happens a lot in, let's say like home-based businesses or stuff. And they'll tell you to go talk to your friends and family. But what so many times happens is you'll, you'll have all of these friends come out of the woodwork who you haven't seen in a long time. And they'll, they'll come to you and, they're they're position propositioning you a business and you just seem like a dweeb at that at that point and here's why you know you haven't talked they haven't talked to you in nine months right and then all maybe even a couple of years and all of a sudden hey i can see how i can make some money off of you so now i'm gonna talk to you that ain't gonna cut it you just look like an idiot don't do that what you can do though is there's a thing called friendship friendship farming so you have a friend and you want to re-establish that relationship and then you could introduce this concept that we're talking about right now so right now you've got the 10 friends that you hang out the most with right so those are ones that you'll approach first and then after that you have some of these other people that you can re-establish a contact re-establish a friendship with take them out to coffee send them a card send them a text send them an email you know just do things to re-establish that friendship and if you don't um, and if you would approach somebody you'll just end up looking like an idiot so one of the things that you can do if you write all of the, these contacts down you can you can act like you know you can just be like a professional salesperson and you can call one after another one after another one after another but what what I'm gonna the scripts that we're gonna do you can do this over the phone um, but ideally these scripts have been created for when, when you're meeting these people these friends you know, just as you're out and about just being very casual on a normal day activities so let's look at look at some of these Hmm. 
Okay. And uh, by the way, before we get started here, um, this is these approaches are ideally for if you're in a brand new business. Okay, ideally, even if you've been doing your thing for a while, um, if you're taking part in the funder proposal side of the business, that is a brand new section of your business. You've been in business for 25 years, but now you have a brand new section of your business. So um, you could still use this approach. So, um, and like I said, this is a general one. This will, this will fit for any one of your products and services that you have. So the first one is high, you know, uh, this is how it starts. Hi, you know, Bob, make some small talk. You went out for coffee, you're hanging out at their house. This is very casual. Um, this is at work. This is at your place of business. Just be very casual about this. Hey, listen, the reason I'm calling. And somebody's calling me right now. So, hey, listen, the reason I'm calling, you know how I'm always complaining about blah, 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 blah. And you might not be calling them, but apply this to your own situation. Hey, you know how I'm always, you know, so you're hanging out at their house. These are your friends. These are people that you hang out with all the time. Hey, you know how I'm always complaining about X, Y, Z? Oh yeah, I really do. Well, I was doing some research. I found something that really triggered my curiosity. I And you'll see how this kind of correlates into some of the other scripts if you compare both of these scripts. Um, but I found something that really triggered my curiosity. I know you know a lot of people. Do you know anyone who blank XYZ who also has this issue? And if they ask you for any details on it, well, it's really cool. Bob, instead of getting all into it right now, I can send you an email, a website, so you can check out what I'm doing. I'd love to see how you feel about it yourself. That way you can send anyone my way because you would know exactly what I'm doing. Who knows, maybe it's something that you would be open to too. Either way, it's worth checking out. And then you wanna send in the de details. How about I call you, don't say follow up, but that's what's going on. How about I called you on Tuesday? Make sure, make sure you found everything okay. Oh, perfect. And then change his game. Hey, Bob, did you see the football game the other night? Oh, yeah. The, you know, and start talking about the normal stuff that you're talking about. Um, if this, if you are a female, um, don't necessarily talk about the football game, but hey, did you see the shoe sale at Macy's the other night? You know, talk about things that you normally talk about. As soon as you do this, change, change the, you know, get on to something else because you don't want them to ask you too many questions that you are unprepared to answer, okay? So that's approach number one. And like I said, you'll see how do you do this um, once a little bit more, uh, it'll come a little bit more clearly to you once we go through some of these other scripts. Now, the thing is too, that you want to practice this. Then some, so many times people say, well, I don't know what to say. You know, I, I, I can't remember all of this and they get all, frustrated and discombobulated about this. Well, this is a business and how bad do you want this? Do you want to be a successful business owner or do you want to continue the struggle? Practice this a few times. Practice this so when you're talking to your friends or anybody, you can use this exact same approach. You know, you might be, uh, you know, I live here in Disney World again. Uh, and I get on the bus. They have these these Disney travel buses all the time and you get to meet cool people and you can use this. I just met these people, but this is an approach I could use if I wanted to. OK, um, so practice this stuff. Get this stuff well in your head. Now, let's look at the next approach. Now, like I said, this approach is ideally for those who are doing the funded proposal side of the business but who, who, but for people that you're talking to who is an employee. And this is a bailout program, 
okay and let me kind of before we go all into this let me kind of explain what this is uh, you know a few years ago how uh, several years ago by now uh, the government you know gave all those those billions of dollars to uh, you know, what was that big insurance company, you know, some of these car companies, they gave, you know, like billions upon billions upon billions of dollars to these big companies, right? Well, uh, the government has done the same thing for employees. And I have a I have a marking system, and you'll see this in module number three of why this is. Uh, but these marking, but uh, the re what the government is doing is if you have a job, and if you start, if you try to become self-sufficient, that's the way that I explain it. Uh, maybe they want to, maybe if a person starts a blog or something like that, the government will add on average about three to $500 per month added onto the person's paycheck to their job to help them finance their business because they don't want them to have a job. The, the government wants you to become self-sufficient and not have to rely on anybody to make a living. Um, you, they don't want you to rely on a job. They don't want. They want you to own a business and become self-sufficient, not rely on anybody for it. Okay. So this is the approach for that. Hey, Bob, how's it going? You know, again, make some small. Again, make some small talk. Hey, you know how I'm always complaining about my taxes? Oh yeah, I definitely know. Well, I was doing some research and I found something that really triggered my curiosity. So let's go through this again. Let me kind of get more in depth and just make this a little bit more real. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Hey, good, good. You know, I'm always complaining about my taxes. Oh, yeah, it seems like they're going up more and more every year. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, I was doing some research and I found something that really triggered my curiosity. I found a way to add three to $500 per month added onto my paycheck from my job through a series of governmental stimulus programs. If you tell a person that, they are going to flip out. They're going to say, well, how did you do that? And then what you want to do is you want to send them an email, send them to your website, send them a recorded message, um, send them some of these marking tools that we have available for you. You'll see this in module number three. But on the uh, if you look on the website down below, I'll put the links for it for both the bailout program and for the small business stuff that we're going to talk about in the next script. And then, so how about, and then, it, so again, how, how'd you do that? Well then, send them the website, send them an email, send them the recorded message, give them some information. You don't want to be the sales guys. Let your marketing systems that we provided for you, let them be the sales guys for you. How about I call you on, and then after you do that, how about I call you on or meet up with you or however you want to say that. Uh, just to, just make sure you found everything, okay? And then so I can show you what I did. That's it. Perfect. Very simple. Rehearse this a few times. Have this well in mind. Like I said, this is your business. This is a professional business. You want to be a professional? Rehearse this a few times. You know, how bad do you want it? You know, let's say that you are an actor. And you are an actor. I'm not a salesperson. I'm an, I'm an actor playing the part of a salesperson. And so... An actor, for an actor would learn a script for a hundred thousand dollars. They do it sometimes for commercial. They do it for ten, twenty, forty thousand dollars, right? And so, if you learn this script, you only have to learn a couple of scripts. And that script, if you talk to enough people, will give you an over a six-figure income. Again with the mathematical formula to writing your own check. You gotta know how many people you need to talk to, but the formula is still the same. Now, if you're talking to people that you already know, uh, yeah, I talked to 11 and I sold eight. So that's a very, very high closing ratio. Um, so, so, you know, just practice these things. So let's move on to our last script. And like I said, this one is mostly for small business owners talking to another small business owner, okay? And then so you wanna make some small talk. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Good, good. You know how I'm always complaining about, you know, it seems like that that my profits are getting lower and lower and working more hours and more hours, but it seems like that I'm making less and less profits. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I am experiencing the same thing in my business. I know what you're talking about. Well, I was doing some research and I found something that really triggered my curiosity. I found a system that companies like Apple
Apple, Disney, McDonald's use to never have to pay out of pocket for their advertising ever again, and I'm using it too. And so far, this is what I have been able to do. Now, you might talk about some of the other examples that we give you. You know, there's this chiropractor, his name is Dr. David Peach, and because of this approach, he has two offices, two chiropractic offices. It pays for his staff, it pays for all of his expenses. And so every single dime that he makes from his chiropractic business, he keeps his 100% pure profit. Well, how the heck do you do that? Well, without me getting all into it right now, how about I just, I, I'm kind of learning it too. How about you, you just, here's the website, here's a recorded message. How about I send you an email out of the information that I personally found? Oh, okay, that sounds cool. And then, uh, and then, how about I call you, you know, on X Y Z, just to make sure you found everything okay. Well, oh, that sounds perfect. Great. And then you want to change the subject again. Hey, by the way, did you happen to see the game the other night? You know, don't leave that awkward silence. You know, and people, when you're just talk talking, like let's say that you had no financial incentive in this. When you have no financial incentive, people just talk kind of normal, right? Once they find out there's a financial incentive, they become all professional. And, uh, I don't know what to say. And they they overthink this and put too much pressure on themselves. This is very simple. These are one page scripts. Learn a couple of them. They're not that difficult. From there, you send the people to the websites, to the marketing systems that we have available for you. Um, your picture is not even on those websites, on those marketing systems. So they won't even know it's you. And, but you're the one who's gonna be making the sales from it. So, you know, just kind of use these things. Again, not everybody wants to do this part of the business. Um, it is it is uncomfortable for some of you, but it is one of the things that has one of the, the highest effectiveness. Um, number one way to sell products is through people that you know. That's it, you know, they like you, know you, and trust you. And then you can use these scripts to get uh, referrals from them as well but just go ahead and apply this stuff put it into action don't procrastinate come over to your first script and just make the list of the people that you know you know first at least your first 10 people and then rehearse it and then as you go around and if you have these well in mind as you go throughout the marketplace restaurants you meet different people um, maybe learn how to be outgoing and meet different people start conversations with people and you'll see how that works too okay but take care, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye now.